Hi guys, uh, thanks for dropping by, uh, or you know, coming back. We're going to watch some more comedy here. We're going to watch, this one's another Sean Locke. Okay, uh, this says it's 8 out of 10 cats does countdown channel 4 bits. It's Sean Locke's rants have everyone in hysterics, which I'm sure they do. You know, we've been watching a lot, we see a lot of Sean Locke, mostly on countdown. Although I think I did do a couple of stand-up, he was pretty funny, doing a Madonna bit, and yeah, he had some funny stuff. But we're going to uh, watch this one, Sean Locke's rants have everyone in hysterics, and we'll probably end up in hysterics too. So if you like the video, be sure to like it, uh, subscribe to the channel, put on notifications if that's the thing you like to do, and uh, you know, you can share the video. Let's watch the video. Most frequently told lie. Simon. It's been great to have you on the show. <laughs> um, I must have downloaded it by accident. It could be you. <laughs> or is it, I won't come on your cat. <laughs> <laughs> Most frequently told. <laughs> you get a lot of stick, Michael Jackson. He gets a lot of stick from everyone. But I will say this about him, right? He is, he is without question, a fucking lunatic. <laughs> <laughs> He's <laughs> mental. Like, just when it couldn't get any weirder... Yes, yes. ..the moving to Devon... Like, at that point, you thought, well, that's it. That's the end of now, the Jackson thing. The whole thing is to make a great film one day and they end in Devon. It'd be great if they opened a tea shop. <laughs> the Jacksons opened a cotton candy. You, goes, you go in, you're driving, oh, I'll have a lovely cream tea. <laughs> and then Michael Jackson comes out and goes, you want cloud of cream? <laughs> we sell, we sell our own teapots. <laughs> hey, Teeny, you sit over there. It's a lovely view of the harbour. Why did they miss the real opportunity of that dog, Lyca, his first dog in space? Surely, if any dog deserves the name Rover. That one. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was cruel on dogs because you send them out there and even when you looked at the footage of that dog going into space, you could tell he wanted to stick his head out the window. You could just tell. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't build the rockets, though. A lot of people think that dogs got there first, like they beat us in the space race. <laughs> <laughs> we put a dog in a rocket. They didn't, the dogs didn't get oh, together yeah. and go, <laughs> moving, like, doing screwing things in with their paws like that. And, <laughs> zzz, like that welding. Zzz, it would. I do that. love the idea of aliens discovering a dog and going, how did you do this? <laughs> <laughs> really? Because it just, you just seem to be shitting everywhere. <laughs> this is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> we all talk about it's an amazing thing, but actually the only thing they got out of the trip to the moon was uh, Velcro. They got Velcro, because it grows on the moon. <laughs> <laughs> They've nearly run out, actually, they're going to go back. <laughs> that's why they walk. They're not weightless. That's, that's actually how hard it is to walk on the moon. <laughs> it's like this. It's like... <laughs> The thing I like most about this bit is you... Oh, no, you stopped. I thought you'd really committed to that, because you, <laughs> you were walking back like that as well. Yeah, no, run out of Velcro. <laughs> I'd tame myself. And I could go out drinking with myself. <laughs> but what we'd do is we wouldn't actually have any conversation, because we'd know what we were both about to say, so we'd just go... <laughs> we'd just do this, keep going... Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> There's the uh, arrest of uh, Rebecca Brooks. Um, her husband said it's a witch hunt, which I don't think she'll be happy about later. <laughs> <laughs> it's a very difficult thing to talk about, though, because, I mean, they're, they're, they're both saying it's very difficult for her to get a fair trial, you know. So Channel 4 lawyers, obviously, are very careful about what we've, what we've got to say. But I did hear this, that um, she said to him, knock, knock, right? 
And he said to her, who's there? And apparently she said, Europe. And he said, Europe who? And she went, <laughs> Europe who? And I think that's all right. Legally, we can say that, yeah? <laughs> We're on safe ground there. That's not going to compromise the, uh, the, the trial. legal proceedings. I don't... I mean, it is sub judice, so I'm not sure whether and you can... also, I did hear this, which is... <laughs> that, uh, present, he got her two monkeys. And uh, they were having a bath together, these two monkeys. <laughs> and apparently one of the monkeys went, hoo ha, ha, hoo hoo And the other monkey apparently went, oh, why, why don't you put a bit of cold in? <laughs> <laughs> now, I don't know if that's legally we can say that. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's actually it's a minefield. She's the night she ever met those monkeys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, I was watching that and I thought I'd be a lot more impressed if, if he was a Labrador and she was blind. <laughs> <laughs> the routine, the dance routine was actually worked out by the dog. <laughs> she's just going, what are we doing now? What are we doing now? It was five hundred thousand pounds. Is that right? Yeah, I know. It's Amazing. It's a lot of money. How much does, she, does the lady get? All of it. Um. Because <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's a dog. <laughs> I think she's going to go. One for me. <laughs> one for you. <laughs> one for me. <laughs> one for you. <laughs> anyway, he's not looking. He's over there. Chucks a stick away. And goes. <laughs> <laughs> well, I um, if I'm getting changed. I try to do it without exposing my bits to other men. Yeah, because they're all hiding all around the changing rooms, waiting for you to come in. <laughs> <laughs> John's coming! Everybody ah. hides! <laughs> they're getting in the laundry bin in the towels, like that. <laughs> like Alibaba. <laughs> <laughs> they lifted that and go, is John there? Yeah. <laughs> that they were hiding, but they're not hiding. They're just stood there with everything out, flossing their ani in front of me. <laughs> So I assume other men don't want to see my testicles, but if you're the man in the change rooms doing the towel thing where you have to flick your knickers up, your, your boxer shorts up, <laughs> your knickers... <laughs> uh, I, don't, I don't want this to descend into some sort of playground teasing, but it would appear that John wears knickers. <laughs> <laughs> I actually believe, and this is the, what, the, the exercise I practice, the world is my gym, because I practice diametric tension. So, for example, if I pick up a cup of tea, I go like this, I go... <laughs> I think the worst thing about going to the gym is the music. Because you never have music you like, it's always like... It's very difficult to exercise to, like, Swan Lake. It would be a universal thing in every gym in the country. They've gone, tell you what people want. Unt, 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 well, that's, unt. that's a bad example because that is a good one. But yeah. <laughs> there are some annoying well, ones as the well. The thing is, if you get rid of the umt, 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 that just amplifies the idiot who's giving it. <laughs> of course well, you can spy. just me opening my locker. <laughs> 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 Sorry, sorry, Granddad. So, do you know what I was wondering the other day? You know they have chocolatiers. Do they have toffeeatiers? <laughs> like men who design toffees. <laughs> make beautiful chocolates. Would you have this equivalent in the toffee business where you would design wonderful toffees? <laughs> I mean, if we're looking at I've got nothing on. That. Or maybe that would be like a, a side interest that a chocolatier would have. Or maybe he'd have a younger, yeah. dimmer cousin who did that. <laughs> you do the toffees, Bubba. <laughs> we only trust you with the toffees. We'll let Bubba do the toffees. Bubba do the toffees. You know, with chocolates, right? You know, when you have a chocolate, you go, you can very distinctive. You go, oh, I like that chocolate. What are you like talking about? No, that chocolate. <laughs> what are you talking with about? With toffees, with toffees. We're talking just, about the internet and you've gone. Two, I only really understand sweets. I don't understand the internet, so I want to talk about toffee. <laughs> <laughs> I like sweet things. <laughs> don't get it. Uh, best thing about being home alone? Ah, oh, easy. Go on. Using the litter tray. <laughs> 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 And then just... you can just... I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why you've been feeding that damn cat. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> kick it about a bit and you cover it and you just... <laughs> <laughs> Sean, there's a lot of toffee wrappers in the cat litter tray. <laughs> I've got a sauce. That sounds horrible. It's I've got a like sauce. It. It's called Sean's Secret Sauce. <laughs> no, that's a very secret recipe. I make it at midnight <laughs> when I'm drunk. <laughs> <laughs> I switch the lights off in the kitchen. I just make it like that. Some weeks it's delicious. Some weeks it's poisonous. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to make loads. I'm going to make millions. Because if you talk to Levi Roots, a fellow saucier. <laughs> <laughs> Well, he sung for his sauce. Do you remember well, that? He did. Yeah. Put some music in my food today. Give me some reggae, reggae yeah. sauce. Yeah. Nice. What's your song? My song. My song. Sean's sauce. Most people think children today are given too much praise. Mm -hmm. True or false? Children do get praised too much. For example, I mean, my kids, they get praised for, like, eating peas. <laughs> <laughs> and they eat some peas, and even though they spit them out, they go... Pff, pff, pff. <laughs> still go, oh, well done for trying the peas. Hundred <laughs> years ago, they'd been shoved up chimneys. <laughs> and now they're going, well done, you've eaten some peas. <laughs> oh, you clever. And any piece of daubing scribble ends up on the fridge. <laughs> Anything, just be shit. You just go, why is that? <laughs> what are you drawing, an amoeba? What the? Oh, Christ. Tell you it's a tiger or a house. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> don't know. <laughs> and, then, and then it ends up on the fridge. It, in my day, it was either the Blue Peter Gallery or the bin. <laughs> <laughs> encourage them because I want them to be confident and I think children can really I don't know they can take everything in like a sponge and then their confidence can go so I, I think it's important to encourage kids mm. <laughs> <laughs> My dad, he was quite interesting he would give you some encouragement if you know on certain things like he used to play that game you know that game spine in a sack we used to play that do you ever play that Spine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, spine. You ever played that when you were a kid? Spine in a sack. Spine, spine in a sack. sack. Spine in a sack. It sounds more like what a he do? Injury. What he'd do is he'd go out and get some roadkill. <laughs> well, he'd get a roadkill and he'd whip the spine out, get the old spine no. out, then he'd break up all the vertebrae, put it in a sack, then he'd bounce it on our heads, right? And we'd have to guess what animal it was. Oh! <laughs> Spine in a sack. Spine in a sack. Spine in a sack. Yeah. I mean, you probably called it something different, back in a bag or something. <laughs> Whatever, it's the same game. I Are don't... you guys winding me up? Is there really a game? There they are, you puppies. <laughs> I go, I go, oh, is it chipmunk, Dad? And you go, don't be stupid, that's not even indigenous. <laughs> How am I going to find that on a road? <laughs> harder, Sean, work harder! <laughs> Do you never play it? No, I'm really shocked, because I don't know if you're winding me up or not. <laughs> I'd be mortified if my dad put a bed and bounced it on my head. This is in the 60s, I think my dad was taking a lot of drugs at that time. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I don't know what to think. No, he didn't know. I made it up for a, a joke. Very nice man, my dad. Very nice. He did play man. kidneys in a shoe, though, didn't he? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> sure, go ahead. Something. Go ahead. Something. Uh, have you had your teeth jazzed up? Uh, yeah, I've had my teeth jazzed up. I that was the exact it. term I used. <laughs> yeah. I want really white. It looked like you swallowed a torch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, well, they were looking kind of shitty, and I was getting, you know. Oh, like, like this? Yeah. Did you say that? No, they weren't, they weren't that bad. They were <laughs> bad. <laughs> <laughs> they were, they still look like teeth. I got the teeth of like a dead horse that found in the Thames <laughs> after about a month. <laughs> I like your teeth, but then I like what's it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yours are so bright. They're a bit. I mean, when you switch the lights out at night, do moths bump into them? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the top people learn from TV shows. Is it that the chefs, mm. for some strange reason, chefs are allowed to swear? You know, you can't swear on gardening shows or property shows. <laughs> I've never heard Kevin MacLeod halfway through Grand Designs go, "Winter's drawing in," and they still haven't got the fucking roof on. <laughs> 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 To swear. Yeah. That's worth swearing for, not, <laughs> not because some broccoli's overcooked. <laughs> they haven't got a roof! <laughs>
But then Gordon does need to swear. He's obviously got issues. You don't yeah. get those lines in your face worrying about roast potatoes, do you? <laughs> Gadgets available to help you lose weight. I've got here. I've got a. Uh, this is a. This is a, a thigh exerciser. Why That's would anyone thigh... use that? Why have you never used one of these? I couldn't give a toss about my thighs. <laughs> I'm not sure how. It... Go on, Jimmy. I think it works like that. You've got a. What was that movement? Feels... I think that's how they. I think it's how they train policemen. <laughs> and at the end of it, your thighs are toned, and you've got lovely flat testicles. <laughs> Does it hurt? Have a go. No. You could use it if you were having what sex with someone and you wanted a break <laughs> and they had their legs open, you could just pop that in. So... <laughs> <laughs> I'll be back in a second. <laughs> <laughs> someone at the door. <laughs> Imagine, sure. and Joe, I'll show you, look. Look, they're up there, they're, 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 you're having sex with them. <laughs> and you go, I've got to nip off, and then you just pop that in there. <laughs> I'll just make a cup you. of tea. How long are you going to be? <laughs> <laughs> oh, bloody hell. Good ages. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. All right, so that was Sean Locke's rants. Have everyone in hysterics. Uh, it says 8 out of 10 cats does count on. I guess that's an older older set they were using. Uh, not familiar at all. It looked pretty strange. But uh, his cards say said countdown on it so i guess that's just an older set so it was pretty funny as always you know sean locke's a funny guy <laughs> you don't need me to tell you that but uh he always comes up i don't know where he comes up with this stuff if it all just comes off the top of his head or he has you know things saved up for special occasions i don't know anyway thanks for watching i hope you liked the video and uh you're gonna like it and do all that those things there. Subscribe to the channel. And we'll see you next time. Have a nice day.